In this video, we're going to be installing the OEM bed extender from Toyota on this brand new 2022 Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's go. Let's quickly go over what's included in the box. All these products will be included in the description box below. First, these are the mounting brackets for your OEM bed extender. It comes with 6 screws and 6 lock nuts. Next, here's the Toyota box extender. It comes with 2 tailgate clips and is very lightweight. Please note that I got this bed extender used, so your packaging may be slightly different than mine. Let's start by installing the bed mat on your Toyota Tacoma. This will be an optional step for those who don't own one. Even though bed mats are typically not very thick, this may still affect your OEM bed extender alignment. Grab your bed mat and remove it from its packaging. I got the OEM bed mat from Toyota, but there are many aftermarket alternatives out there. Simply unroll the rubber bed mat making sure it's in the proper orientation. For the Toyota version of the bed mat, the Tacoma lettering should be facing the back of the truck. The next step is to mark out the mounting holes on your truck bed. We're going to be using the drilling template from Amp Research. This template comes with a large and a small version. I also used the guide that I created by tracing the mounting holes from the previous owner. As you can see, this lines up better with a smaller template from Amp Research. Take a note that you'll need to line up the bottom of the page rather than the black line since the Tacoma is considered a medium sized truck. Grab your drill, marker, and a 316 drill bit. Next, let's go ahead and mark out the mounting holes using the modified template. As mentioned before, line up the bottom of your page to your truck bed liner. Then use your marker to trace the three mounting hole locations. Repeat these steps on the other side. Let's now drill out the mounting hole starting with sender punching the hole. I use a nail and a hammer since I don't own a sender punch. Simply hammer in a small indentation on the center of each hole. This will act as a starting guide for our drill bit. Then grab your drill and simply drill out the holes on both sides of the Tacoma. Take special care to make sure that the drilling process is straight. This will ensure a perfect fit for the mounting brackets and the mounting screws. After drilling out the mounting holes, let's now go ahead and install the mounting brackets. You're going to need a drill or a wrench, a number 3 hex bit, your mounting brackets and your mounting screws. Simply insert the mounting screws on the holes and tighten it using the wrench and a hex bit. Ensure that the bracket opening is facing the back of the truck. Repeat this until both mounting brackets are installed. Then grab your Toyota bed extender and let's insert it to the mounting brackets. Note that you'll need to angle the box extender to insert it to the brackets. Here's another look at the angle movement for the installation of the box extender. As you can see, 
We have even spacing between the closed tailgate and the box extender. Also, when the extender is being used with the tailgate open, ensure that you're attaching the clamping straps to avoid the extender from bouncing around while driving. Lastly, let's install the lock nuts. You're gonna need a drill or a wrench, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 516 socket. We're gonna need to remove the top and the bottom 10 millimeter bolts to remove the tail light. When removing the tail light, pull at a slight angle at the top while pulling the whole assembly back. If you've never pulled your tail lights before, expect a bit of resistance. Repeat this on the other side. Then grab your lock nuts and start threading it to the mounting screws. You're going to need to do this for all six screws to ensure a secured fit of the mounting brackets on the Tacoma. Use your 516 socket to tighten the lock nuts, then repeat it on the other side. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. Finally, let's now reinstall the taillights and complete this installation. And that's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this DIY bed extender installation. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.